Hello and welcome back. This is Rafi once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a custom domain name with your blogger.com website or blog. For example, if I wanna show you my blog, which is already monetized with Google AdSense, you can see ads are appearing here. But the problem is the website domain is with .blogspot.com extension. So now I'm going to add a custom domain name, which I have purchased on Namecheap. And if I want to show you the exact domain, this is the domain that I'm going to connect with this website. So now let me show you the step by step process. So first of all, you need to purchase a domain from any of the domain registrar websites. So I have got mine from Namecheap and then you have to go to manage option of the domain. So I'm going to click on manage. After that, we have to go to this advanced DNS option. So I'm going to click on advanced DNS. After that, we'll find this option to add some records. So now I'm going back here on our blogger backend. And after that, I have to click on settings. And then from this page, we're going to scroll a bit down. We're going to find this publishing option from where we have to add custom domain. So let's click on custom domain. After that, we need to paste the domain name that we can copy from here. So let's copy the domain name. Let's go back to blogger settings and let's paste it here. But before we click on save, we need to add www dot before the domain name, right? Now let's click on save. Now it is going to give us this message. So basically you can see we have not been able to verify your authority to this domain on your domain registers website, look at your domain name servers settings and enter the following two CNAMES. So we have to add these CNAMES from our domain control panel. So we're going to click on add new record. After that, we're going to select CNAME. So I'm going to scroll a bit down. You're going to find CNAME record here. So let's click on this. After that, as a host, we're going to go back on our blogger setting and then we're going to copy the www, which is going to be the host. So I'm going to paste and after that, the destination or the target is going to be this one, ghs.google.com. Let's go back. We're going to paste it here. And after that, we're going to click on this right or that save sign. Now, we need to add one more CNAME record, as you can see here. So I'm going to copy this CNAME host. Let's go back. Let's click on add new record. And I'm going to select CNAME again. Let's paste the host that I have just copied from here. And now let's copy this uh, destination. So it is going to be this one. Copy, go back and paste it right here. Let's click on save. Now let's go back to our blogger settings and we need to open up this link from here. We're going to find some records here. These are A records. Now we have to point these A records from our domain control panel. So I'm going to copy the first A record from here. Let's go back to our domain control panel. Let's click on add new record and we're going to add A record now. So let's click on add record and in the host, we're going to put at the rate like this and then let's paste the IP address that I have just copied. Let's click on check mark. I'm going to copy the second A record. Let's click on add new record, A record, add at the rate as the host and the IP address is this one. I'm going to click on check. Let's add another A record. The host is going to be at the rate and then I'm going to go back to this page. I'm going to copy the third record. Let's go back, paste it right here. Let's click on check. Let's click on add new record, add record. The host is going to be at the rate. Let's go back here and copy this, the last one, the last IP address. So I'm going to paste it right here. Let's click on check. So this is it. We have added the CNAME records and all the A records required to connect our domain name with our blogger website. So now it's time to click on save. And now I'm going to enable this one redirect domain. So I'm going to enable this one 
and after that for the security we're gonna enable this one as well HTTPS availability let's enable this one and that's it we are done with our actions what we can do to connect the domain name with our blogger.com website and it might going to take a few minutes to up to a few hours to connect the domain name with our blogger website properly so don't worry if I want to try visiting the website it might not gonna work right away but it is eventually gonna work out within a few minutes to up to few hours so this was the process guys i believe you have found this video helpful if you are facing any issues or if you need any further help please feel free to let me know by commenting below and i have to see you in my next video thank you so much for watching have a good day bye bye